Hey everybody, what we have here is a mechanical flip clock. I got this as a Christmas present a few years ago, and I thought some of you would like to see it. I've actually <clears throat> I've actually liked flip clocks um, for a long time. Uh, the very first time I actually saw a flip, a flip clock was back in um, in the movie Back to the Future. You know, like how Marty has that flip, flip clock radio behind him in his bedroom. That's the first time I saw it, and I always wondered, you know, how they work, and I thought they're really cool. And of course, you also see a flip clock regularly in um, in that Groundhog Day movie as well, which I'm sure many of you know out there. So. I thought I'd show it off to you what, what mine looks like and also show you how it works. I'm sure some of you would like to see that. So here's the clock display itself. Um, this is not the current time. I just have it set to this. And inside this um, reflective uh, thing here, that's, that's where the motor is for the clock. And over here, this is the uh, time adjuster for it. This dial you see right here is to set the alarm. And this button... Um, is the alarm on or off selector. Uh, in this particular case, um, pushed in is on, popped out is off. And um, the way it works is basically how, um, in the name itself, it flips over. You can see all the number tiles right there, all up bunched together. This particular clock runs off two uh, C batteries, and we'll put those in the, uh, uh, soon. All right, and the way it works is actually very simple. So. One thing, um, one thing to take notice of is, take notice of these three tabs, okay? There's that little tab right there, one right there, and this one in the middle right here. So, when I turn uh, this, this adjuster knob right here, all right, if you look very carefully, the way it works is, as I turn it forward, you may notice that the numbers start to lower down a little bit. And then once that top half of the tile clears the tab, see? It flips over. Simple as that. Do it for the next minute. See, it just clears the tab, and then, and then that's how it flips over. Now, the the hour the hour one is actually pretty cool in how it works. Obviously, as you can see, it lowers slower than the minute one because you know the hours don't advance as fast. Now, if you may notice, at some point, you can see that the hour starts to get pretty close to the end of, the, of its tab. So I'm going to advance this a little bit further. It takes a little time. <laughs> see? So the hour one just flipped. Uh, but as you can see, it still has a 12 because, you know, obviously at some point the hour tile has to clear the tab. And then, um, and then it just keeps the same number. So it holds the correct time. Simple enough. Now, take notice of this tab right here, the one in the middle, okay? So I'm going to advance this even further. Okay, and if you look if you look on the at the minute tiles, you notice how there's one tile coming up that has a long tab to, towards its left. See, as you can see right there, notice how the hour the hour tile cleared the top tab, but now this tab is being pushed over to the left by um, by the uh, tile right there with the longer tab. So that way, it holds onto the hour onto the hour tile for its last few minutes, so it doesn't advance it prematurely. As you can see. And then when it, you can see it's 12.59, and then when it goes to, the, when it clears the next minute, see? Then um, this longer, this longer tab fl um, tile flips over, lets go of that middle tab, and then allows the hour one to advance fully. So it's kind of cool in a way how it works like that, which is kind of, it's like, it's like a kind of like a way that it has to work because it has no other choice. So I'll advance this a little bit faster and you can see it. See, the hour one just flipped initially. Now watch that middle tab. You should see it start to get pushed to the left. Yep, see, it's getting pushed to the left. Now it's to hold that hour tab. Oh, I'm sorry, let me say it. It's to hold the hour tile. So as you can see, let go right there. And then go to the next uh, hour. See, let's go. Let's it flip. So that's uh, that's basically how it works. It's a really cool design. Uh, the only um, the only restriction or downside, or if you want to call it, of the, of the flip clock is, let's say for example, I'll I'll put this to um, uh, three o'clock. All right, you know, let, let, let me rephrase that. Um, let's say it's three o'clock, but you accidentally go too far. Well, the, you can you can flip forward, but you can't flip back. So basically, um, your only option is to take the batteries out, let time naturally advance, and then you know um, put the batteries back in, 
adjust it accordingly, and then you're all set and good to go. So okay, so what I'll do now is let me um let me put the uh, batteries in and show you the alarm function uh, on the clock. Okay, so right now I have the um I have the uh, both the batteries put in. Uh, the, oh, you see, it just flipped right there. Um, the, uh, the 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 batteries go on this bottom compartment right here. Just take the cover off, put them in, and you're all set. You may actually be able to hear the motor of the uh, clock. Let me put the camera up to it. I don't know if you heard anything there, but it does make some noise. Okay, so now what I'll do here is, um, uh, so this uh, th this red um, indicator right here is obviously to let you know what time the um, what time the alarm uh, function is set to. So in this case, what I'll do is I guess I'll set it to we're at three eleven, so let's set it to four. We'll see how accurate it is. I may have went a little too far there, so uh, that that's okay. So actually, no, you know what? We'll, let's do it right. There we go, set to 4 p.m. So now I'll push the button in, and let's manually advance the clock to 4 o'clock and see what happens. It's a little touchy like the other clock is. Oh, there it is. So um, you can see it, it has to. It, it's a little bit um, touchy, like the other clock is. But you can see when it hit 411, it started beeping. And the way you stop it simply is put pop the button out. So what I'll do now is let's advance this to 430. And let's see. Um, if I advance this dial right here, see how it works. Let's pop the button back in. And oh, look at that, it's still going. Okay. So there's really like a wide range. There's really like a wide range of times that this clock will um will do the alarm for you. So th this can also be kind of like a backup clock if let's say you know you lose power or something and uh, you, whatever clock you have plugged into the wall doesn't work. This kind of works, but as you can see it's it's really not the best in getting the time more uh, pretty exact. All right, so, so so let's try something else here. Um, so I just put the clock to five, and what I'll do is I'll put the alarm on. And, oh, it's like right on the cusp, as you can see. So I guess it goes for, for maybe like an hour or two. Look at that, it's still going. Let me do this. There, okay, now it's stopped. So um, what I'll do is let's put it to five and see what it does there. You can see there's a really wide range for it, so it's not the most accurate, but it will wake you up if you're trying to wake up. I'll just put it to you that way. So it's at 501. Okay, that was a little bit better. So it will roughly go around the um, around the times that you set it to, but as you can see, again, the, the range is pretty wide and um, uh, kind of short of being exact, but I mean, in some for the most part, it looks okay. You know what? One more test. One more test. Let's... um. Let's put it to six, and then we'll call this a video there. Is that on six? Yeah, it's on six. Okay, so let's pop this out and flip it forward. Now it's on six. Heard a click. Oh, yeah, that was the click right there. <laughs> so, um, all right, so it's kind of like a 10-minute difference. You know, interestingly enough, the last clock I showed you guys kind of had the same thing. So I guess there's kind of like a 10-minute difference for the time you have it on to um, to it going off. You know what we'll do? Turn it back on, and let me advance this. Yeah, see? So I guess it kind of goes around 10 minutes after the hour. And then um, it goes off after the hour's over. So you know, again, not the worst, not not the worst, but also not the most accurate. I guess you can kind of get around it by having the thing one click beforehand, then it'll go off earlier. But aside from that, guys, that's it. I don't really use the alarm function on this clock, but I just wanted to show you, um, 
you know, there goes flips right there. Let's show you what it does. So um, it does keep time very well. I'll give it that. But as you can see, the alarm function's kind of finicky. But for something mechanical like this, I guess um, you know it can only be, it can only be so accurate compared to like you know digital clocks where the numbers match and everything like that. But aside from that, guys, that's basically it. So here's a flip clock for for you, a demonstration of how it works. Like I said, in terms of keeping time, it does a fantastic job. The alarm, as you can see, is kind of on and off, but, you know, um, it, it, I, I almost never have to use it, so it's really not that much of an issue. And um, if I ever did, I can always adjust this accordingly to get it to match. So there you go. So there you go. Nice demonstration of a flip clock, and hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.